Hello, this is Jeff Walker with In-Depth Studies. Today we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 9. Now there is a context to this chapter. This is part of Jesus' intimate time with his disciples. And then here in chapter 17, Jesus is praying for his disciples. So we pick it up in verse 9. Jesus is praying and he says, I pray for them, that is his disciples, I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. Okay, he's specifically referring to his disciples in this particular prayer, but he makes a point, I'm not praying for the world. And of course, this brings to mind the concept that when Jesus went to the cross, he paid for the sins of all those whom the Father chose to save, that is, those the Father chose from every tribe, nation, and tongue. Because in Hebrews 10.14, it talks about the cross in these terms, for by one sacrifice he has made perfect forever those who are being made holy. This is a very you know, particular group. This is not everybody. And so here in John 17, though, we have a prayer of Jesus that's specifically focusing, focusing in on his disciples. But he does make this point. He's not praying for the world. Uh, you know, because in God's sovereign plan, Jesus is, did not come to die for every last person in this world. That's not what he came to do. So it's good to keep that in mind because we have a savior who is the savior of the world in the sense that he has those for whom he died from every tribe, nation, and tongue. So if this has been helpful, check out more of Jeff's thoughts on YouTube and there you can subscribe. Thanks.